You're from, you're from New Jersey, you grew up in New Jersey. Yes. But you live in New York City. Yes. And you're working with Greenpeace. Yes. And you're helping the environment. Yes. You're helping the environment remain clean. Yes. And your name is Tony, and you have seven sisters and brothers? Seven I sisters? I have one older sister. Older sister, and she's at Greenpeace too? No, no, she's uh, out in California doing work in the weed industry. Oh, the weed, the marijuana, you mean? Yes. Weed, weed. Like, well, uh, it's legalized in marijuana, isn't it? Exactly. Isn't it? So, what kind of work would she be doing? Like, she does marketing for marketing? Um, a company that creates paraphernalia objects, oh. you know, like oh. smoke pens, uh, oh. bongs, that kind of thing. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Mm -hmm. That's fun stuff. I mean, hemp clothes, and yeah. I don't know, I don't know whatever else. Like, hemp furniture. Yeah, hemp, they can make everything about it. Hemp cars. Yeah, okay. I don't know. <laughs> hemp cars. Hemp, hemp guns. No, 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 no. Counterintuitive. That, that, that would be bad. That would be bad. So, anyway, Greenpeace, so you've, you've succeeded in getting the pipeline away from eastern, western Canada? Uh, yeah, the Trans Canada's Energy yeah. East pipeline, which yeah. is coming down from Canada into yeah. North America. Yes, we've yes. succeeded in getting that shut down. And like, how many lawyers approximately were involved in getting that thing shut down? How many? I honestly couldn't say. Yeah. And there was a lot of litigation involved, a lot of illegal. illegal. Yeah, and also a lot of like nonviolent direct action, um, things like that. Mm -hmm. We were on the ground protesting these things, as we are with the uh, other three pipelines. Wonderful, Tony. And uh, so, is your mom down there in New Jersey? Yep. What does she do? Is she a housewife? Or? Uh, no, she is a divorcee. Um, okay. She is retired, so she's just living her best life. She oh, does yeah. a lot of kayaking. She's oh, in nice. a comedy club. Oh, she's at a comedy club. Cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. So, uh, New Jersey. There's mm -hmm. a lot of um, the heavy, like the wa the wives of New Jersey. Was it the wives of New Jersey? The, oh, the real the, housewives the real, of New Jersey. The real house of Yeah, we also had Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore. Yeah. yeah. That was a bizarre show. And then, it was. And then one of the housewives went to jail for extortion or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that was like while they were filming. Very depressing. Very, very depressing stuff. I mean, I mean, probably the, that's what really goes on in New Jersey. Yeah. I don't know. It's sad, but um, New Jersey. Um, I don't know. Whatever New Jersey is, we don't know. Did you go to college? Yes, I went to Rutgers, New Brunswick, in New, New Jersey. Uh, New, New Rutgers. My my friend's uncle used to be the chair of the American Studies Department in Rutgers. Oh, look his at name that. Was, his name was Michael Rockland. Oh, I don't Mike, know. You don't, you don't know. I was it doesn't, in communications. Doesn't, doesn't matter. But um, so anyway, do you play any instruments? No, I do not. Do you play any instruments? Do you do art? Um, no, I think the most artistic thing I do is I read all the time. Read, what's your favorite author? Do you have my a... favorite author? Ooh, that's such a hard question. Um, I mean, I think my favorite book, like all-time favorite book, is A Hundred Years of Solitude by Oh, yeah. Garcia Marquez. Marque yeah, Garcia exactly. Marquez. Yeah. yeah. He was an interesting guy. He only passed away five years ago or something. Like I know. That. Yeah, and but even if you read, like, his, his um, he won a Nobel Peace Prize. I think it was yeah. for A Hundred Years of Solitude. Yes, and his acceptance speech was, like, it was yeah. amazing. It was He's amazing. got such a way with words. You know, you know who also won the Nobel Prize in literature? A French writer named Patrick Modiano. Okay. He won in 2014, hmm. and uh, I really enjoy his books too. Oh, about, well, maybe I'll about, look about, into him. Patrick what? Patrick Modiano. M O D O M O D I N I A N O. Mm -hmm. and, Sounds uh, almost Italian. He's French. Well, he's half Italian. He's half Jewish. He's, oh. half, he's half Greek. He's half Flemish. Oh wow. He's got he, not half, but a quarter. But um. I really enjoyed his books, and it, they're really about childhood memories walking around Paris. Aww. Walking around Paris, and they're very t sort of touching in a way, but you know, he's haunted because he never knew his parents growing up. He was, like, his mother was always kind of leaving him somewhere and didn't know where he was, where he was going. But, but, but anyway, well, say goodbye. Bye! Say goodbye. Okay.